Giving all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Raka Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Okay, and Shalom to the hopefully elect laboring in sincerity. And I want to do a video, not sure what I'm going to title it, more confusion from the Christian community. Maybe something around that line. Okay. Anyway, I did a video. I went back and forth with this Christian on a topic about the 144,000. And uh, I'll just jump right to the comment and I'll elaborate on that comment. Um, well, let's get to it. Okay. This guy's name is, I don't know what the hell his name is, but uh, Frank E. Uh, whatever his name is he replied because I went back and forth and because they were saying that um, we don't know if we Hebrew Israelites or whatever the case is how do we know this is how you know these people are carnal and they're not spiritual but anyway I told them there was going to be 144,000 being sealed okay and, and the one third elect let's not forget that so he goes on to say because I was, I was asking, well, how's 144,000 and 30 elect going to be sealed if they don't know who they are? Well, this is his reply. He says, yes, the 144,000, that is 12,000 in each tribe, which are angels that are born in the world <laughs> that will be pulled up, uh, pulled out, then the veil will lift and the real enemy would feed off of those who are left in. Now, on a carnal level, um, he might be right, okay? But on a spiritual level, he's wrong, okay? And that's what we see about these, uh, these false uh, Christian teachers or followers or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Now the reason why I say on a spiritual level, because the fallen angels are the Israelites. They're still thinking of some big Nephilims that was uh, fell out of orbit like a satellite. Okay. Uh, on a spiritual aspect, that's what there's 144,000 and one third elect Israelites who are born in these vessels. Okay, who are angels? And when I questioned them and I asked them what the word angel mean. He never replied, okay, which I found quite weird, but I'm pretty sure he had no understanding of what I was saying. He was uh, completely lost, okay. So the 144,000 are here on earth, playing out the role. Look, man, Malachi 3 and 6, I love to keep going to the scripture. For I'm the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, not sons of anyone else. Now, the reason why I go to that scripture because the Lord has always used prophets. He sent his own son as a prophet. Okay? A, the, the top prophet. Okay? He sent his own son. Okay? He's always set up kings and leaders. Okay? Over a nation. He never had to send um, tons of spirits. Okay? On earth to do anything. Now there's accounts where that has happened, but there's not going to be 12,000 from each tribe of spirits, just angels that are floating around that's going to be raised up, okay, and, and you know, in the chariots. They're going to be in bodies, okay. This is uh, uh, Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Now, for anybody don't know, uh, before um, going back to what he was saying, uh, you have to get the whole conversation. Um, because it does sound like, okay, he's making sense, but he's not. Because he's thinking of angels as some floating beings that are arrested in a body. And they're going to be beamed out of a body. Well, that's, that's the elect. That's all. 
the elect. He sent the, sent us his messengers to do his work, and when it's the when it's uh, the time this is fulfilled, the time is fulfilled. Guess what? They're gonna be beamed out. That's why the scripture says, "Hurt not the earth." Speaking to actual angels, or, or the four corners, hurt not the earth until the elect is uh, sealed. But then it goes on to talk about twelve thousand from each tribe. So let's go on to prove that this was men that the Lord was talking about. Okay, this is Ezekiel uh, eleven and seventeen. Ezekiel eleven and seventeen. Therefore saith, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will either gather you from the people, okay, and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. So how uh, is the twelve tribes uh, of men, twelve thousand from each tribe men, going to be sealed if they're just angels floating around or whatever, man, or harvesting in somebody's body? How is that supposed to happen? You need the men that, because what's going on is they don't believe that the men on the highways and hedges uh, that are prophesizing the downfall of this place are the true biblical Israelites. Well, we're not the true biblical Israelites, and I'm going to guys in even other camps. If we're not the true biblical Israelites, then who are? Who is the true biblical Israelites? We are only the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the only ones fitting the curses. And we are the only ones fitting the prophecy. Okay? We're the only ones. If you leave it up to these Christians, we would never get out of here, man. The world would continue. They're just going to keep waiting on Jesus Christ. they just go Look, man. Another thing I'm going to go into, because when, you know, going into the conversation, they're, the, the, the way, that, the reason why they're, they're trying to disprove this doctrine by saying, it's not men because they want to make up everybody else coming on board to get into the truth. It is just not possible if this is proven that it's actual men on the highways and hedges prophesizing the downfall of this place because Revelation 7 and 9, well the 7th chapter, even all the way to the ninth verse where it says nations, multitudes, peoples, and tongues, which are Israelites who are scattered, which I just read in Ezekiel, okay? Israelites who are scattered amongst the nations, okay, where the Lord will assemble us, you know, has assembled us, uh, assembly, assemb assembling us out of the countries. So in order to make this prophecy fit, they can't be men on the hedges, if you think about it, okay. So now, when you go deeper into it, how does the Gentile thing play a factor? Because now that's bringing confusion. The Lord says 12,000 from Judah, uh, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon. If he said all these tribes would have meant so, what would be the reasons to say these tribes if nobody else, if everybody else could make it? It just wasn't, it wouldn't make sense. So the reason why these uh, tribes are mentioned specifically because there's going to be specific men out of these tribes who will be elected. Okay? which would mean racism which would mean the, these are Israelites and nobody else so this is where they they coming up with these false doctrines see in order to keep alive you got to manipulate the others okay so anyway when you go to the Gentiles going deeper into that that was a Latin word by, by, the, uh, by the Pope those are Latin words from the Vulgate because the uh, Gentile simply just meant foreigner uh, or non-believer, basically. That's all it really meant. But they put it in there as heathen or whatever because heathen is a non-believer. But that Gentile, that's why it goes many different folds. Because you can have a non-believer that's an actual biblical Israelite who, who doesn't understand he's an Israelite. Or you can have a heathen, but by bloodline he's not an Israelite. Those are still two Gentiles. So really that word Gentile, nobody should take a hundred percent serious because that word simply meant foreigner anybody really to get technical that word really meant anyone who was non-catholic non-roman catholic and even the um the uh, uh joseph smith the mormons they believe the same thing and you can look it up the je the definition for gentile to them is anyone who is non-mormon okay uh, it's just that simple. 
See, in order to keep a, a, a lie going, you got to keep trying to manipulate and create other lies. Okay, this is, uh, let's go to Revelation. Um, let's get, well, I was already in Revelation. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah uh, 52 and 1. It says, Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Okay? Put on thy beautiful garments. And that's what you see us with. Uh, and they don't have to be special, beautiful garments. But when we put on our garments, that's recognizing we understand our heritage. That's really talking about the truth. But it's beautiful to know this truth. Now, uh, the, the, um, the, even the clothing, when you want to look on the flip side, just wearing these clothes and neckties. and You ain't going to see a man in the Lord stand on in the street with a suit. Okay? A suit and tie. Okay, if he's got that garment representing his heritage, and that real, the true garment is representing his truth and understanding his truth. Okay, it goes on to say, "O Jerusalem, the holy city, O henceforth there shall no more come unto thee uncircumcised and unclean." So you gotta understand in the future prophecies, a lot of these prophecies were future. Okay, and it only makes sense. Uh, because they were future prophecies. Uh, Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men. And I am your God, your power, Yahweh, saith the Lord, Yahweh. I am your power, saith the Lord, Yahweh. Okay. And I'm just going to try to make this a little bit quick. Uh, again, now, when you read Revelation. Let's go back to Revelation. I'm going to just get to the point. Revelation 7. This is what he's going into. And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not be uh, not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor any tree. So this guy, and now when a nuclear missiles come, that's going to destroy this place. But this guy is, is thinking that, you know, you got to know the precept, the precept. You know, this guy's thinking that it's just talking about some spirits, okay? Um, because when you read this verse and then when you go on down, and you let's go, let's get to the point, okay? It goes on to say, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, okay? There were sealed a hundred, okay, and forty and four thousand of all the twi uh, tribes of the children of Israel. Now, when you get deeper in this scripture. The Lord don't need a whole bunch of 144 angels, technical angels, to hurt the earth and destroy this place, okay? If you know the stories of the Bible, you would know that. One angel can do a lot of work. You don't need 144,000 angels. The scripture says in Psalm 82 and 6, I say ye are gods and you shall die like men. So we're in spiritual, we're in fleshly bodies. The angels are in fleshly bodies. So you need more because you're dealing with this physical realm. Okay? Once you're in this physical realm, uh, you don't have but so much power, man. Alright? And then it goes on to list the 12 tribes. Okay, so let's go to Revelation. And this will be to the point. Revelation 21 and 3. In the same, the same book. Okay? Revelation 21 and 3. And it says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men that's the 144,000 okay that's all it is and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and Yahweh himself shall be with them Yahweh shall be with them and be their God their, their power and there you have it that's proven at the 144,000 Amen. Okay. Uh, and you got to watch these Christians because they'll come and twist and, and mangle and destroy the scriptures, man. So the bottom line is I was going back and forth with this guy. And I said, well, what better way to do than do a video? Okay. Um, he's right on the, uh, um, on the, on the left-hand side. But he, un he doesn't understand that the angels are the Israelites. Okay, trapped in these bodies, fallen angels doing the bidding 
of Yahweh by Shimei Okay, that's all. Um, that's all I have on that. Uh, I want to say shalom.